we're doing this. Nine top new features of the Apple Watch Series 9. Number one on the list, the new S9 SIP. The new S9 SIP is the first big CPU upgrade for the Apple Watch in years, and it makes using the Apple Watch even faster than before. But there are individual differences between the S9 and the S8 that make the Apple Watch Series 9 even better, including the four core neural engine that can process machine learning tasks up to twice as fast as it could before. That brings us to number two. That is Double Tap, which isn't arriving yet, but will arrive this October. This is enabled by that new four core neural engine, and it does more features than the accessibility quick actions feature that I've already highlighted on this channel. It processes data coming from multiple sensors on your Apple Watch, including the accelerometer, gyroscope, and even the optical heart rate sensor with a new machine learning algorithm that detects difference in wrist movements and changes in blood flow when your index finger and thumb perform that double tap gesture. You can control a bunch of features on your Apple Watch, including accessing the smart stack, taking a photo, answering call, playing back music, and even more. I can't wait to show you more about Double Tap when it launches this October. Number three on the list is on-device Siri. Thanks to this new feature, Siri is faster than ever on the Apple Watch Series 9. Many tasks that don't require the internet connection are now nearly instantaneous and they no longer have that long delay that Apple Watch was known for. Anytime you need to make a conversion, start a workout, anything like that, it acts pretty much right away. That brings us to the fourth new feature on the list is accessing and logging health data with Siri. So again, this is brought to us by the new neural engine on the S9 SIP. You can ask Siri a bunch of different questions about your health, which is extremely useful on the Apple Watch because there is no health app on the Apple Watch. You can ask Siri on the Apple Watch how much you slept last night, what your blood sugar levels are if you have a glucose monitor connected. You can check on your activity rings for the day. You can even log health data, including your weight, something that you ate, medication, your period, anything like that can just be logged using your voice on the Apple Watch. Number five, the display. This is a big upgrade for the display that they're bringing kind of from the Apple Watch Ultra. They're now increasing the brightness of the display to 2000 nits, which is more noticeable when you're outside than when you're inside. In direct sunlight, it is now easier to see your watch face than it was before. Plus, it is able to dim the display all the way down to one nit. If you're ever in a movie theater or in bed at night and you're trying to check your Apple Watch and don't want to be blinded or blind other people, this is very useful because you can just brighten up that display a little bit, check what's on it, dim it back down again. It's not going to blind you. So now one nit is the lowest brightness level on the Apple Watch Series 9. Number six, dictation. Again, we're going back to that S9 SIP, which is pulling a lot of the legwork here on the Series 9. And now we have dictation that's 25% more accurate. In my testing, it also seems very fast. I can't tell if it's faster than the previous versions, but it does seem very quick. And Apple says it is 25% more accurate than it was before. Definitely between the speed improvements and the accuracy, this is going to be a win for using dictation on your Apple Watch. Number seven the second generation ultra wideband chip. Apple actually bakes its ultra wideband chip into the S9 SIP. So the S9P stands for system in package and includes many different components, including the W3 wireless chip, the new second generation ultra wideband chip, the CPU, GPU, all baked into that one single chipset. So the new second generation ultra wideband chip brings two notable features that I wanna mention here. First is precision finding for your iPhone. If you happen to be pairing the new Apple Watch Series 9 with an iPhone 15, you can combine these two together and get distance, direction, as well as visual, haptic, and audio guidance when you're finding your iPhone. You don't have to make it play this loud chirping noise every time now. You can get a directional feedback on your watch as you get closer and closer trying to find your iPhone, even if it's in another room. Plus, this even works with HomePod. As you approach a HomePod, the Apple Watch Series 9 will automatically launch the now playing controls so that you can easily control the media from your wrist. If nothing's playing on the HomePod, media suggestions will appear at the top of the smart stack 
on the Apple Watch Series 9. Just use double tap to open up Smart Stack or swipe up or from the bottom or scroll up using the digital crown. And boom, you have media suggestions that you can immediately play on that nearby HomePod. As an added benefit, the second generation ultra wideband chip has much more range than the prior generation chipset. Number eight on the list is this brand new pink colorway. I prefer this than the rose gold version that had a little bit of a copper pink hue to it. This is just more of a subtle pink, and I honestly think that it changes a little bit depending on the situation. You class this up with this different type of band, it can look nicer, you can put a silicone band on it and make it look more, you know, day to day. I just think this is a great color to join the rest of the Apple Watch Series 9 options. Finally, rounding out the list, in certain configurations, the Apple Watch Series 9 is carbon neutral. Now again, this will depend on the bands that you choose with it, and there are even new band options, including this new sport band that you see in this video, there's the new fine woven bands, but in certain configurations, the Apple Watch Series 9 will be carbon neutral, and Apple will even bestow a badge upon the box so that you will know when you are buying a carbon neutral configuration. So that's it. Those are nine top new features of the Apple Watch Series 9. Are you going to be picking up an Apple Watch Series 9 or maybe that second generation Apple Watch Ultra? Let me know down below in the comments.